Hey, what's up guys? So in this tutorial I thought we would revisit that select by location script that we made a few tutorials ago. Um, if you remember, we created a script that would um, select cities that are within certain countries, countries that we hard-coded in here, United States, Italy, Kenya. So I thought instead of having to hard-code certain countries, why don't we just use the search cursor and go through every single country in that shapefile and select the cities that are within those countries. So what the idea is we're going to select all countries and <clears throat> select cities that are within those countries. So before we had just cities that are within the US or whatever those countries were we provided. Now we're going to make 255 shapefiles all with the cities in them. Uh, all right, so to do that, we can use what we just learned with search cursors um, to go through every single feature in the country shapefile. So why don't we start and get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, don't need this anymore. Might need this later. All right, so let's just start building that search cursor again. So with cursor parentheses. Now the first parameter this takes is what do you want to make the search cursor out of? So that we really only have two options, the points or the countries, and we want to go through each country one by one. So we're going to use countries. The second parameter is what exactly in that shapefile, what field do you want to go through? Um, so we're going to need two fields for this tutorial. We're going to need the FID. Uh, we're also going to need a name. So let's just get one of these. So the FID is just the feature number identifier. Um, and let's use this as the name, Sovereignty. Alright, so just paste that in here. Alright, now after that we write as, and you can create this cursor calling it whatever you want. I usually call it something with the word cursor in it. So I think country cursor makes seems appropriate here. Alright, so now we've created a search cursor, but we're not doing anything with it. So to do it, something with it, we need to create a for loop. So for x in, what do we want to make this for loop go through? Last time we had it, we had it going through a list, a hard-coded list of countries. Now we're going to have it go through a search cursor, and that search cursor is going to be called country cursor. So that's what we want to loop through. So if you real quick just print it out, x0, it should print out each individual feature ID one by one. So it should print out about like 255 values. So let's just check to make sure that's working. <clears throat> All right, yep, 254. So it makes sense. It started at zero. Let's just look at arc real fast to confirm. Yep, so it goes 0 to 254, so there's 255 values. So that's what we want. Why don't we also print x1, and that's just going to print whatever is in the first bit. So this is the 0 position, that's the first position, and we've provided it with this field, sovereignty. So it's going to print, when we run it again, it's going to print the FID followed by that name. All right, looks good. So now, what do we want to do? We want to select each country one by one. Now, this confused me at first. I didn't understand why we couldn't just do arcpy dot. Oops, arcpy dot. Let me grab that make feature layer. Uh, forget what it's called. Make feature layer. We probably could have figured it out now, but this we'll just be able to copy it real fast. Make feature layer management. Copy that. Arcpy dot make feature layer management. Now, what do we want to make this feature layer of? We want to make we want to take it from country. So what I didn't understand at first was why can't we just make arcpy make a feature layer out of say x0. 
why that won't work is because all x0 is, it's just a string of text. It's literally just the number 0 or 1 or 2. It doesn't have any spatial attribution or any spatial um, data linked to it at all. It's just a, literally a string. So we need to make a feature layer out of this country's path, but we want to further specify that country. We don't just want to make a feature layer out of all the countries. We want to make it out of one particular country. So what, what are we going to use? Countries. What are we going to call that layer? Countries layer. Now we want to add that where clause. And in that where clause, we're going to specify we want it to select a country, select whatever feature has a particular ID. So we have this thing looping through, and it's giving us the FID of the current thing going through. So the first time it's 0, 1, 2. So when we loop through this and make a feature layer, it's going to make a feature layer from countries where the FID equals 0. Then the next time it will be make one where it equals 1. So each time it goes through, it's just going to make one feature layer that has one feature in it. Um, so we need to get that syntax. I forget what it looks like. I have it pulled up right here. Okay, we want to make that where clause, and this is the syntax I usually follow because it makes sense to me. So we'll pop that right here. Oops. And just replace this city name. What are we concerned with? We're concerned with FID. So FID equals not Chicago. We want to use those string formatters again. We'll put that in there and then. Remember how these work outside of the string dot format. And in here, what do we want this FID to equal? Well, we have this, we know X0 is the FID. So we want that to equal X0. So this actually confused me for a week or two. I didn't really understand what was going on here. So I'll, I'll try to explain it one more time. Um, we want to make a feature layer from all of the countries call it countries layer and then we only want to select countries that have a certain FID and we're providing that certain FID number based on whatever the value is of X0 is in the search cursor <clears throat> alright so now just imagine an individual layer of one feature so we would just have one country right now now what do we want to do with that after we have that now it's kind of like how we did it in the other tutorial. We're just going to select by location. So arcpy dot select select by location management. What do we want to select? We'll, let's just use this points layer since we have it. So we want to select points or from the points layer. So this right now this points layer is all of the points. Comma. Let's just take a look at the syntax together. Arc pi. Select layer by location. Alright, in layer that's the, all of the cities overlap type we're gonna use within so you can use all of these different ones it's just like in the window when you're using arc but we're gonna use within needs to be capitalized so in quotes as well within comma the countries layer and if you remember the countries layer right now is just one country so it's gonna select all cities in this one country that has an FID of zero and then next time it'll do select all cities within country layer with an FID of two or, or one. Countries layer. All right. So now we have a selection. We just need to convert this into a, a feature class now. Because if we ran this now, it wouldn't output anything into our output folder. So to do that, it's that feature class to feature class conversion. All right, so what do we want to convert to a feature layer or a shape file? Points layer. What do we want to call that? Or where's the, the out? So let's look at that. We'll look at the syntax together because this sometimes confused me too. All right, 
in features that's the name of that layer we created out path so this is the location where the out so this is just going to be a folder yep if the output location is a folder the output will be a shape file all right so we just provide it with that out path folder or variable we have up here all right and then we can just give it a name um, let's just call it cities in and then underscore and we'll use those string formatters again dot format and let's make it x1 so this will name it cities in and as it's going through it'll use this whatever piece of information is provided by this so the name of the country so it'll be cities in United States cities in Italy etc um, now I know this is going to cause an error but I'm just going to run it anyway so you can see what it does and how we can fix it. Alright, we just have it actually just printing the FID. I meant to print out one there so we'd see the country names, but right now it's going through. each one and it's working so far all right so this one the name contains invalid characters I just looked at how long this video is so I'm gonna stop it and start up in a new video see you guys